so I'm gonna show you a simple recipe to make a simple pastry dough. You can use this dough to make pies, galettes, but we're gonna be making some pineapple empanadas. And I'm gonna walk you through every step so that you can make this at home. This dough is kind of an evolution of dough that my grandma used to make and what my mom's made. Once you have a dough, you can use it to make savory empanadas and sweet empanadas. We're gonna make sweet empanadas, but if you wanna make a savory dough, you can just omit the sugar and the cinnamon and you can fill it like ground beef or chicken tinga or cheese and chili. So there's so many variations, but we're gonna make a sweet dough which has some cinnamon and sugar in it. So this dough is super simple, made with pantry staples. We have all-purpose flour, we have granulated sugar, some eggs, baking powder, ground cinnamon, vegetable shortening, salt, and some milk. Super simple ingredients to get started making our pastry dough. So I'm gonna be using a stand mixer, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can easily make this in a bowl literally just with your hands, combine all your dry ingredients, and then you're gonna add in your liquid ingredients, your milk and your eggs, and then you can combine that with a bowl. But I don't wanna get my hands dirty, so I'm gonna cheat and use a stand mixer. Also, I'm using baking powder versus baking soda. I know they're interchangeable, but with baking powder, it really has that power to help that dough get nice and tender and rise, not only before you bake it, but during baking. We're gonna start with the dry ingredients. We're gonna start with the flour, and we need three cups of flour. So let me scoop that out. And with flour, you wanna be sure to not pack your flour. That's a big no-no when it comes to baking. I never trust my husband to bake because he always packs the flour, and it's not a pretty thing. <laughs> so just level it off get your flour and we want three cups. If you pack your flour, you are going to get more flour than you need. When it comes to brown sugar, it'll usually say to pack that because you want a full serving. With flour, it's nice and light that it'll fill exactly with what you need versus packing it, you're just gonna get more than what you really need. So we have three cups of flour and then it's half a teaspoon of salt. And with salt, even though this is a sweet empanada, salt really adds and just emphasizes all of those flavors. So don't be afraid that we're putting salt in a sweet pastry dough. Then some baking powder. We're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. And what's nice is I love that this has like your automatic little level on here. Smart little invention, that canister. We're adding some ground cinnamon. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. If you wanna use the same dough for savory empanadas, just omit the sugar and the ground cinnamon. And now we're going to add this to the mixer and we're going to combine these just till everything's combined and then we'll add in the rest of the ingredients. So you wanna make sure that you combine all your dry ingredients before you add in all your wet ingredients. You don't wanna have just one speck of ground cinnamon in one bite and you know sugar all in one section. So you really wanna incorporate all those ingredients before you start adding in your wet ingredients. And if you don't have a stand mixer at home, you can easily do this with a spoon or a whisk. You just wanna make sure those are nice and everything's incorporated. You don't see any cinnamon anywhere in there. Now we're gonna add in the shortening. And so the shortening, also if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a pastry cutting tool to combine that with the dry ingredients, or you can even use a potato masher and just mash that all up with the dry ingredients. So you wanna make sure that this is well incorporated until we add in your milk and eggs. And it's similar to any pie dough that you're adding butter. So you just want those small crumbles and make sure your shortening is just really well incorporated into those dry ingredients.
And so now you can see the shortening is incorporated. You can see some little balls of shortening in there and that's perfect. And that's exactly what you want before you start adding in your milk and your eggs. We're using half a cup of milk. And if you don't wanna use milk, I've actually made this recipe with beer too, which really gives it an amazing flavor when you're making like a savory empanada. So you can actually use water as well. So I love just the flavor of the combination of the milk with this dough. Now we're gonna add two eggs and I'll just go ahead and use the same measuring cup and just add them in here and I'm gonna whisk the eggs in the measuring cup before I incorporate it into the stand mixer. It's always safe to break your eggs in a separate little dish before you add it all in. You never wanna accidentally drop a shell in there. That's never any fun. And you wanna whisk your milk and eggs together. You just wanna make sure that the egg yolks are broken. You'll still have that mixing process in the mixer or if you're doing it by hand. But just as long as you have those egg yolks broken, you should be safe to go. This dough is super forgiving. Now we're going to add it into our dry ingredients. And we're going to blend this. And you can see the dough is already combining by itself and you wanna to continue to mix it and combine it till it all comes together. Look at this dough, so soft, so pretty. You could see the little flecks of cinnamon in there. Gonna be a nice and soft and tender dough, perfect for your empanadas. So what I like to do once your dough comes together is I like to separate it in two. It just makes it easier to roll once you're ready to get to that process. When my mom makes empanadas, she usually does it like if she's making flour tortillas and makes little dough balls and rolls each ball of dough into like a flat little surface. I'm not that fancy. I like to make it a workable dough and use it like if I'm making a pie dough and roll the whole thing. So I'll show you a little shortcut. But what I'm gonna do is just wrap these up with saran wrap and refrigerate them. And you can even do this, you know, day before, two days before, and then have your filling ready and just assemble when you're ready to make your empanadas.